Hello my friends, for today's beer review, we're going to be taking a look at Clown Shoes Brewery, The Good, The Bad, and The Unidragon, a Russian Imperial Stout. So this is The Good, The Bad, and The Unidragon by Clown Shoes Brewery. Um, I've been showing a lot of love to Clown Shoes lately, and they um, haven't really been disappointing me so far. I don't know what it was, used to, I just kind of disregarded their beer, I just would see it and be like, eh whatever and just sort of pass it up but um lately I've been just kind of been like alright I'll, I'll bite when I see the crazy artwork and all that and so far it's been pretty good so this I'm really excited to try this is their Russian Imperial Stout um, the artwork is pretty crazy on the front we've got some Jericho looking fellow with a werewolf and a cowboy hat behind him and a crazy kinda evil skeletal unicorn looking horse thing. Yeah. 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 And the uh, description on the bottle says, we brewed this special version of Blakehorn Unidragon using dark malts sourced from Texas. That's where I'm from. Attitude sourced from the burning pit of a bad-tempered spirit and righteous fury from the hand cannons of the good. As you sit down to a glass, remember, there are two types of people. Those who drink Unidragons and those whose ashes drift in the breeze. That's pretty crazy sounding. Now, here's why I'm so excited for this and why I think I... I don't actually know anything about this beer, but why I think I have something that's pretty special is because of the ABV. This thing is at an absolutely staggering, mind-blowing, monstrous 14% alcohol by volume. This may very well be the strongest beer that we have reviewed yet on this channel. Um, I think actually the, well it could be wrong, this might be, I don't know, I'll have to look back at other reviews, but this may be one of the strongest beers I've ever drank. It'll definitely be in the top three strongest beers I've ever had in my life. Um, so I'm ecstatic to try this beer. Now, I pulled it out of the fridge real recently, so it's still pretty cold. Um, Used to, I would always say let your stouts warm up, but these days I just don't know because a lot of brewers now put that you should drink your stouts um, at 42 degrees on their on their um, label. So I say when in doubt, try it cold, let it warm up, try it warm, see how it develops. A beer of this magnitude deserves the proper glassware, and I'm going to be drinking it on my Duvel Snifter today. So without further ado, let's get the cap off and see what this monster is all about. I can't wait to drink this. Um, I won't be going anywhere either because I have no one to share this bottle with and at 14% I'm probably going to be good and tipsy after I finish it. And as we all know, we don't drink to get that way. It's just a pleasant side effect. Alright, straight out of the bottle. Wow, look at this. This is jet black coming straight out. I'm going to pour it down the center and see if I can get some head on this. This looks fantastic. As far as appearance goes, it gets a 10 from me. Look at that. Super dark, burnt, caramel colored head. Up in the light. I can smell the alcohol from here all coming off of this. This thing's pitch black. You're not going to get any light through this. Not even the super dark, mahogany, ruby tones on the edges. It is black as night. That looks fantastic. I, lo I love that. Formed a nice finger of um, pretty creamy looking head. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, huge amount of alcohol on that. And lots of the things you would expect from an, a Russian Imperial Stout. You've got a ton of roasted malt, super dark chocolate, lots of coffee, breadiness, Brown sugar, vanilla, caramel. Just those classic rustic smells that you expect from a stout, you know? It doesn't have pumpkin in it. It's not brewed with maple. It's not bourbon barrel age. It's not got bacon and any crazy stuff, any weirdness going on. It's just a, it's just a solid stout, man. At least as far as the, the smell is concerned. You've got your malts, your chocolate, your coffee, and your kind of caramelly brown sugar in the back end. That's really all you need when you're drinking something like this. At 
This is probably going to be extremely boozy. Um, I'm pro I have a feeling, I'm going to make a prediction here that I need to let this warm up, but let's go ahead and uh, track cold and um, see what the good, the bad, and the Unidragon is all about. Holy crap. I may not need to let it warm up. Mmm. Tons of sweet chocolate, sweet coffee, sweet vanilla, brown sugar, and caramel. And then that fades into your bitter chocolate, bitter malts, bitter coffee. This is amazing. This is probably one of the best stouts that I have ever drank. No joke. Super thick, creamy mouthfeel on this. Full body, um, obviously. Super warming going down. Good God. I mean, you can... It's actually not that boozy to the taste, but man, is it warming going down. You That 14% that really kicks in. It's going to be hard for me to let this warm up because I want to drink it. Definitely a sipping beer, though. You don't want to gulp this one down. As it stands now, um, it's already like a perfect stout. I would give it like a 5 out of 5, a 10 star. Um, it's awesome. But I want to let it warm up to see how it develops. So we're going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've been letting this warm up for about a good 15 minutes, and I would say it is just slightly chilled is where I would call it. So, let's see how it's developed, if any. <sighs> a lot more brown sugar and kind of creaminess coming through. That chocolate almost smells like a... It almost smells like a chocolate milkshake now. I'm not joking. I could actually give you a, um, a pretty good comparison on what this smells like. This is almost identical, at least in the smell, to um, Oscar Blue's um, Tin Fitty Imperial Stout. If you've ever had that, it smells almost identical to this very dessert-oriented style beer here. So uh, let's uh, give it a taste now. You know, I think actually this would give Oscar Blue's Tin Fitty a run for its money. Um, they're very similar beers. I gave it a 10 out of 10, and that's what this is going to get too. Both of them are just supreme quality stouts. Um, just to reiterate the uh, development. Creamy, thick, sweet vanilla, brown sugar, caramel, chocolate, coffee. Warming alcohol. And it ends on just a slightly bitter um, malty coffee note. Bitter malt and bitter kind of black coffee. Um, and actually, the sweet and the bitter are not perfectly balanced, which in this style of beer is very good. Um, it's very, it's quite sweet up front, and it doesn't end too terribly bitter. This is definitely like a warm you up, drink it in the middle of the cold, you know, winter months by the campfire or the fireplace kind of beer. One that you sip on because um, it will warm you up. And it's definitely like a um, confectionery dessert style stout. Um, it's fantastic. Like I said, probably in my top three, one of the best stouts that I've ever drank. Um, and I've had a lot of good ones, but this is fantastic. If I was curious about clown shoes before this, this has just completely opened the door. Um, definitely going to start buying a lot of their brews because, I mean, all the reviews I've done for them have been very good, but this is just over-the-top high quality. Like, this is fantastic. So, anyway, if you are a fan of stouts, you have got to get your hands on a bottle of Clown Shoes, the Good, the Bad, and the Unidragon because it's an experience. Experience. It is an experience of a stout. If you're a stout drinker, it needs to be on your bucket list. This needs to be one that you seek out, hoard, and lock away for um, another time when you're in good company in your beer cellar and let it age at 14%. I bet you'd be good to age this stuff 10 years if you wanted to. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the review as always, and stay tuned for the next one.